my name is Beck. this is the stay at home book tag and I was tagged by Steph at Novelty Corner so I'll link her video down below as well as obviously the creator of this tag. So in this tag there are eight questions, they're kind of like prompts and then there's a bonus question at the very very end so let's jump into all of the prompts for this tag. The first one is Laying in Bed and that is a book that you have read in practically one sitting. I don't know of too many because I tend to read a lot of long books. I definitely read a chunk of Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb in one sitting because I do know that I was up till one o'clock in the morning reading that book but that wasn't the whole book it's a very long one so I didn't read all of it at one go. Maybe Mistborn The Secret History I probably read all of this at once but I did read it as part of the Arcanum Unbounded collection and that is a whole stack of short stories so again does this count? Doesn't it count? I'm honestly not sure. The second prompt is Snacking and that is a guilty pleasure book of yours and I don't know if I necessarily have one. I mean I do deviate from reading fantasy and sci-fi sometimes by picking up manga so maybe Fruits Basket would count for this but it's not really a guilty pleasure kind of read. It's a very emotive and fluffy and cute read instead so it's kind of the opposite of guilty pleasure but it's just something that I do for pleasure aside from reading fantasy because fantasy can get quite heavy. The next prompt is Netflix and that is a series you want to start and mine is definitely The Wheel of Time. I have the first book Eye of the World here and I'm planning on starting this in May so I've said that a couple of times about this book this year but but this time I do really mean it. I have read seven pages of this but then I got distracted by a readathon and I put it down so I do plan on getting to this eventually but I do know that it's also a commitment because it's a very long series and it's also a very thick book and apparently there's also like a slog in it as well which happens for like three to four books in the middle of the series so I'm not really looking forward to that section but I am aiming to at least start it in 2020 so I'm hoping I can follow through with that goal. The next prompt is Deep Clean. What book has been on your TBR for ages and I actually did a video a couple of months ago that was basically exposing all of my unread books on my shelf and at the moment I'm down to about 40 to 43 books so I'm doing pretty well on getting that number down but I've had a lot of them for a very long time so the one that stands out is A Little Life and I've just been avoiding that because I know it's going to be very emotional and I also have the rest of the Alchemist series by Michael Scott because I put all of those onto my March TBR and then I had an atrocious reading month in March and I read like two and a half books not even and I didn't even pick them up so that is definitely something that has been on my TBR for ages because I bought them a while ago when my friend recommended them and I did that thing where I bought the entire series instead of just book one and now I have to read the whole series. <laughs> the next prompt is Animal Crossing and that is a book that you bought because it has been hyped up recently. I kind of have two for this but again I don't really know if they count because the first one is Aurora Rising and I am lucky enough to be getting sent the second book by a friend so Aurora Burning is coming out at the end of April early May so I think that counts because that is fairly hyped up at the moment because Amy and Jay are doing a lot of questions and answers on their Instagram stories which is awesome of them. So I think Aurora Rising or at least Aurora Burning might count. And then I've also got another one and it is Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chapeco and this is one that has been talked about a lot on Twitter lately on book Twitter and I just happened to own this advanced reading copy of it. I think it came out in March so I'm probably going to end up picking this up. It was initially on my Owls TBR for April but I swapped it out with something else but I do still intend to read it and I also have her other Bone Witch books to read as well. I've read the Bone Witch but I haven't read the second and two or books two and three rather so a lot of Rinchapeco is on my TBR at the moment. The next prompt is Productivity and that is a book that had an impact on you and I want to say To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. Even though it was only a really really small novella it had such a human connection and emotion at the heart of it and it was just a very soft but a very on point narration especially considering the world now but instead of going down a pathway of selfishness and fear it went down a pathway of generosity giving and being respectful and and I think it's just a really nice breath of fresh air to read and I definitely benefited from reading it so that's why I'm recommending it. I really loved it, I'm probably going to reread it at some point and I really need to own it as well so I can hold it up in a video. <laughs> the next book is FaceTime and that is a book you were gifted and Aurora Burning? <laughs> it hasn't arrived yet so I don't know if I can really count it. I'm planning on gifting myself some books soon because my birthday is in May so does that count? The next prompt is self-care and that is something you have done recently to look after yourself and that is play a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I've been playing that game heaps and I should be reading more. And then the bonus question, the last one on this tag is name a book that is coming out soon. And I've already covered Aurora Burning so I'm just going to tick that off really quickly. But then the next Bone Season book is coming out in August and then there's also The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab but those are coming out more towards the end of the year. I'm not actually aware of stuff coming out like mid-year. Maybe the next book in Amy Kaufman's series she wrote Ice Wolves and then Scorch Dragons which I read recently for my Owls reading vlog. I'll link the Scorch Dragons one down below if you're interested. Her 
her next one in that series and the last one in the trilogy is coming out in June. So I guess I'm anticipating that one. But there you go. That was just a quick, fun little tag. So thank you so much to Steph for tagging me. If you want to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. But I might just mention a few people. So I tag April, Cody and Tanika to do this tag if you guys want to do it too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll chat to you in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.